Okay. Oh my god! Right. Oh my god! Right, Harry. <laughs> oh my god! I just wanted to talk to you, really. How are you doing? <laughs> I tell you, I was a bit nervous myself. I tell you, I got a bit overexcited. I, I'm very happy to be speaking to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me. Um, well, I've been watching you, you know, and, uh, and I've really enjoyed your performances. You did brilliant in the show. I was so gutted much. that you didn't get to go through, and I, I dread to think what you felt like. Are you okay? Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm good. It's just. But apart from that, that's just how life is, really. <laughs> yeah, well, I was thinking, I wonder what we could do, you know, because really, you know, the show is one thing, but it's not it's not all of, of what's out there, you know. And yeah. I had this crazy idea. I'm doing a tribute show to my hero, who's uh, James Burton. I don't know if you're familiar with his work, but he was one of, uh, one of the first people to actually bend strings like we do. So he's an influence on all of us, right? So we're doing this tribute to him, which he's coming to, and it's at the London Palladium on Sunday, and I thought you might like to come. And I also thought you might like to play. What? So, <laughs> Are you so, actually well, serious? Well, you did Johnny Be Good on, the, on, on the, the last piece you did, right? And we were planning to do Johnny Be Good as a kind of finale where everybody piles on and jams away. So we thought you might come on. I, I can introduce you. You come on and kick it off. And we all um, jam around on the on the song just to end oh. the show. Yeah. What do you think? You think? That would be cool. <laughs> I think it'd be great. And you, I, you're totally up to it. You know, I can't believe you're 11 year old. You, you are telling the truth about your age, right? You're not actually 21. I think I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Better check with mum. <laughs> well, I, I, we've t I've talked to everybody in the team, and everybody's really excited about the idea because it means a lot to us. Because James Burton is sort of at the beginning of the river of rock and roll, if you like, which has been flowing, and we all influence each other, and whatever. And you are the future. You are the end of the river, and it would be great. It would be really meaningful to have you on there at the end, as kind of where everything's got to at this point in 2023 and James is going to be thrilled I know you, you have to check him out I'll, I'll give you a couple of links so you can see what he did you know but cool. first time I ever heard Hello Mary Lou which is a song by Ricky Nelson I heard this incredible wiry guitar sound and he wasn't just hitting strings he was bending and making the notes change making the guitar talk yeah. and um, I'd never heard that before and to me that changed my life I thought that's what I want to do and so I was heavily influenced by him. And a lot of people have been influenced by me subsequently, which is great. So the river flows. And you went on there and kind of paid a, a great compliment to me by doing my stuff. And I really appreciate that, you know. So you are the kind of the end of the line. Here's James Burton one end and here's you the other end. I think it'd be a perfect end to the evening. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> it's at the London Palladium, which is... Uh, it's a nice gig, actually. Yeah, it's, it's a very theatrical kind of gig, but it's it's really going to be a nice place to do this, I think. So if you're up for it, that's a deal, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> there. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that's great. And we get a chance to talk when you come down. That would be great. Yeah, that would be so cool. You have a, a Brian May guitar, don't you? I yeah, I, I have like a fake one. I have like a Harley Benton. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, we'll have to fix that with a proper one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that I'm be... pretty. Ah, uh, you sound pretty good on the Gibson. Is that a Les Paul you're playing on this on the uh, show? Well, it's a it's an Epiphone Les Paul. Okay, yeah. That one set down from you, <laughs> the Gibson. No, no, it sounded really good. And what are you playing through? What what's your amp? My amp. Uh, I use the Vox AC15, which is obviously inspired by your AC30. Oh, really good sound, really good. And I thought your choice of material is really good as well, and what you do with it. I mean, the thing you you didn't just come on and do Johnny Be Good. You did the the main theme from Back to the Future, which I've never seen yeah. anyone do. Whose idea was that? Is that yours? Uh, that was one of my dad's. Uh, we kind of worked together on like that starting idea of Back to the Future. Ooh, I thought it was great. I think it probably went over some people's heads, but I just thought that's clever. That's a really good thing. And you played it great. I mean, the intonation and the, 
the expression you played that with that that impressed me like more than anything probably <laughs> just Thank you, so you know, i've never seen anybody do that but you know when you kicked into the song it's great it's high energy you've got loads of confidence you've got loads of style it's brilliant how can you be 11 years old <laughs> just practicing a lot <laughs> when did you start how long have you been playing uh I've been playing for five years and my dad originally taught me but since then I, I got a new guitar teacher and he's just been helping me and dad's been playing some of my stuff as well so which we'll kind of fits in oh, right. where's your dad right now he's over there <laughs> hello can we say hello to dad hi ryan <laughs> hello <laughs> how thank you doing thank you for producing this incredible man that you have there oh thank you so much and thank you for doing this it's incredible thank you mum as well where's mum Oh, thank yeah. you so much. Thank Honestly, you. it means the world. He yeah. he has always, since little, just loved Queen and everything that you've done. And yeah. he's always said, he, you know, this is this is a dream, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. I will thank you for fixing it up and making it a nice surprise for uh, yeah. for your young man. Brilliant. I'm going to call you Harry Be Good, okay? Because <laughs> he is pretty good. <laughs> oh thank you. Yeah. thank you okay well i'll leave you to uh, think about all this and we'll get some details together and sort out times and places okay yeah cool that's great thank you thank you oh, so much thank you so much for your time thank you so much Oh my god, I still can't believe that happened. That took place the day after my BGT semi-final. That morning, Mum got contacted by Brian May's team, but kept it a secret from me. Later that day, we were driving back from London, and we stopped off at my grand's. Dad then told me I needed to change my top, because a talent agent wanted to speak to me after seeing me on BGT. I honestly had no idea that Brian May was going to appear on the screen. I was still recovering from my amazing BGT experience, so to be speaking Speaking with Brian May was so surreal. Talking with him and hearing what he had planned was even better than getting to the BGT final. I'm still trying to catch up with all of my videos on YouTube and will post one about my special evening with Brian May very soon. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.